You just ask any of the weather people at Newswatch 16 and they'll tell you right off that it's now summer. Of course, this resident of Locust Lake State Park will tell you too, as Marion Titchy of Pottsville pointed out. The whole thing started with spring and seems like the one Lisa Brister of Dixon City captured. Things grew and grew in more ways than one. Mike Meyer of Hawley sent us a garden bunny family portrait. We began getting visitors, some just dropping by for a quick visit. Roberta Scarborough at Oregon Hill spotted one. Here's a hummingbird moth cleared for landing. Kim Lacey in Bear Creek Village caught the moment. Eventually, the whole thing comes to a head and it gets crowded. Angelo Venditti of Berwick likely would allow some travelers who are hungry enough to munch on his wife's flowers. The nerve of them. Still others almost too small to notice, but Avis Miller of Bloomsburg did. We are now in that glorious period you might call the blooming good time. Tony Johnson in Albrightsville showed us this capture called Beautiful Flowers, and they are. They come in all shapes and sizes and colors. Gloria Steele in Nicholson offered an example. Bright as the sunshine from Eileen Chorba of Beach Lake. If it rains, it matters not. Lan a G in Durier had flowers taking water from a rainstorm. Flower Power, the title given here by Jim Lake, Goldsboro. From Emily in Newfoundland, further proof that flowers will grow almost anywhere, even on water. Diane Marshman in New Milford had an image of Jacob's Ladder flowers. Interesting name for a most interesting display of summer color. I'm Mike Stevens in the Photolink Library.